You know when you see something, or smell something, or hear something, and it just sets off a barrage of memories in your mind? This music, this music did that for me. God damn, if that's not a good intro track, I don't know what is. Motos is an arcade conversion for the Spectrum that I rarely see pop up when people ask the question, what's a good arcade to Spectrum conversion? There are, rightfully, plenty of mentions of Chase HQ and OutRun and New Zealand Story and all the rest, but I think Motos gets unfairly forgotten. Perhaps because the game didn't quite have the same appeal as those games? I mean, it's effectively bumper cars in space. If you haven't played it before, that description probably sounds pretty naff, to be fair. But I'm here to tell you that you're wrong. You're wrong and you should feel bad. Motos is an excellent game about bumper cars in space. And no, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the title of the game correctly. I'm just going to keep going with whatever pronunciation comes to my head first. Each stage in Mootoos gives you a floating space arena and a set of enemies that you'll need to quite literally bump off. These enemies range from spherical oddbods to more bug-like creatures, and each of them really, really, really doesn't want you on their space platform. As soon as each level starts, the enemies will typically make a beeline for you. That is, unless they decide to do a bit of infighting. It seems that some enemies are really racist about other enemies being on their land, and they'll be more concerned with getting rid of those guys before bothering with you. This is especially useful with a load of weaker enemies ganging up on one of the tougher ones, because it means you can join in with the little guys and get rid of the heavier guys first. That's right, I said heavier guys. Each of the enemies in Motos has its own mass. The first few enemies you'll come across are easy enough to shove around, but you'll soon come across enemies that'll oof you across the platform like you're made of paper towels. To combat this, you're gonna need some power-ups. There are two power-ups you'll need to make use of on your journey. The power pack and the jump pack. These power-ups don't activate straight away and will instead be sent to your inventory. At the start of each level, you'll be asked how many power packs you want to activate, and those will increase your mass. And whether or not you want to activate a jump power-up, which will allow you to uh, jump. If I was going to throw any gripe at Motos, it's really only this one. You're never quite sure how many power packs is enough without prior experience. They are a finite resource, and if you don't use the right amount, you're kind of screwed without a bit of luck on your side. Use too many, and you won't have enough when you need them. Use too few, and you won't be heavy enough to effectively push the enemies around. These are the toughest parts of Motos. When your mass just isn't big enough to push the enemies off the platform, you've basically got two options. If you have a jump power-up, then you can crack holes into the floor. A single landing will produce a crack, and a second landing on the same place will create a hole. You can attempt to trap the enemies in this way, but if you're anything like me, you'll more than likely kill yourself in the process. Lastly, you can wait for the invisible timer to run out and attempt to deal with the shooting stars. This is basically the game saying, hurry up, get on with it. Debris will start raining down on the level and leave holes where it hits. If you're lucky, the enemies will get wiped out by this. If you're not lucky, you're dead. And really, that's all there is to Motos. Like a lot of arcade games from the time, it's simple, tough, and the rules are plainly laid out for you. But it's really all down to the game feel at the end of it all. Motos feels great to play. Its graphics are functional enough to look nice and clear even now. The music is awesome. The levels are varied and interesting. It's a game that needs to be played more. Go and play Motos. <laughs>